Another week has gone past and Luna is one of the only coins which continues to perform in a positive way. Today we'll be checking out the price action that has transpired and make some predictions as to where we can expect to see the price of Luna go in the near future. Let's get into it. How's it going guys? Ryan here and welcome back to another crypto video. We're once again checking out one of my favorite and one of the channel favorite coins, Luna. We're going to be performing some technical analysis on it and making some predictions based on that analysis on where we can expect to see the price of Luna go in the near future. But before we get into that guys, please remember to leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy today's video. And if you want to see more of this sort of content, hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. I'd also love to know your thoughts on Luna and the Terra blockchain down in the comments section below. I think it has an absolutely amazing future and I'd love to know your thoughts on that as well. But without any further ado, let's jump in the computer and start today's analysis. Welcome into CoinSpot guys, if you're looking to buy Luna or any other cryptocurrencies there's a link down in the description of today's video where you can sign up and start buying now. But let's take a look at Luna coin and the last time we took a look at this coin was exactly one week ago on the 26th and I believe it was at about this time here. So. As you can see, we had a little bit of a dive when we were looking at last. We peaked basically all the way out here at $49 Australian and we tumbled all the way down to $37 Australian. But since that point in time, as you can see, quite a bit has happened. We hit another brand spanking new all time high at $51.85, which I am absolutely ecstatic about so that is really really good stuff and now we are currently sitting at a value of $47.26 Australian so let's go to the daily chart now to perform some more analysis and I think it's quite clear what we have actually just seen here from a price perspective we've seen a nice little bit of a run occur in this sort of a manner. I'm only going to take the peak up to here because that is really the point at which a flag pattern had started to form. And that flag pattern went in this sort of a manner. You can see that obviously this tried to break out on a number of different occasions. Firstly, on the first day of the flag itself, it failed. It then happened once again right here on the 24th of August, but eventually was able to crack through this pattern, crack through the resistance on the 27th of August, which is absolutely great. And we're sitting much higher than where we were previously. Now, as we zoom out, as if you follow me, you'll all know we are sitting in uncharted territory. There's some very clear, I know, support points around about here, but I don't think we're heading back down that way for quite some time. So we really need to establish some new key points of support for us. Now, obviously, a few key things will come into account. Now, the first of which is obviously where is, from a price perspective, our key points of support. I mean, I'm really tempted to put one in here just because it's had, I suppose, a lot of trading action occur. It's about 41 to 40 dollars but based on where we're currently sitting i think we can take that one up just a bit higher and i'd be taking it to roughly about here 44 dollars you can see there are plenty of touch points that occur from a price action perspective throughout that period that makes it a relatively good floor now we might see some bounces and that sort of thing since that point but until then it's a good floor also let's chuck in our resistance point and I think a great resistance point is sitting roughly here at about $48.20 and 20 odd cents. You can see there's plenty of price action that has occurred at these points as well over the past couple of weeks. So I think that is a reasonable point to put in a key price for our resistance levels. We're trading just under that point now as you can clearly see, but I think it is a relatively easy one to pick out. Now, 
Given that there hasn't been much price action that has occurred in this span of time, it's literally been a couple of weeks, we need to take some other factors into account. And due to that, the 20 day moving average is actually going to be quite significant for us. It's going to be acting as a key level of support and a key level of resistance for us in the near term. So let's chuck that one in. As you can see, it is moving up, but I'll just quickly, oh, that's the 60, I'll just chuck in some longer term moving averages as well, the 50 day and the 200 day moving averages, just for a bit more medium and longer term outlook. Now, as you can see, the 20 day moving average is that important one, and that's sitting at about $37, and you can see in the past, we have touched that point on numerous occasions. So just chucking that right in here, you can see that we've bounced off that fairly recently. In fact, four days ago, you can see it was acting that area as well as a key point of resistance. So in my opinion, if our support here at $44.20 Australian fails, the next key point of support for us will be at roughly $37.00. And 90 odd cents. That is going to be a key area for us. You can see though that this 20 day moving average is coming up. It's moving up sharply, obviously, as most of the price action has been fairly vertical, which is nice, but we've just had a period of a week or so of horizontal trading. So this 20 day moving average is likely going to even out and plateau slightly before the next increase. So that would basically leave us at a point of $40.85 also acting as resistance in that perspective. So the 20 days are really a big one to keep your eye on. The 50 days obviously coming up as well, which is nice. The 200 day is a critical point of support. We don't really need to take that into account at the moment, just given the fact that not much is going on. So I'm gonna get rid of the 50 day. I'm gonna get rid of the 200 day. That 20 day is our key focal point at this point in time. Now. What else can we look at? Well, the MACD is a good one. I suspect what we would have seen is, yes, the short-term trend crossed below the longer-term trend, but is now passing back above that. That is due to the fact that we did have this horizontal period. Now there's a period going on of indecision. What is going to occur? Are we gonna continue moving upwards, or are we going to start consolidating, moving downwards a bit, maybe breaking through our support point at $44.20 and moving down to that $37.80 support point. That is probably where we're going to go unless what we do see is an increase in volume. But you can see we did diverge down here, but we've come already immediately back up and it's really indecisive at the moment. So all in all, not too helpful at the moment, but obviously it's not looking like there's much selling. If we just take a brief look at the volume down here as well, you can see the volume's relatively decent compared to trading days of the past month or so. We are at high levels, zooming out even further. We probably didn't see these sort of levels since May. So keep that in mind as well. People are here, people are buying, and that is really what is driving the price. And I'd imagine there are plenty of individuals as well who have bought in down here, such as myself, but are now selling, which is something I certainly am not doing because I'm invested in Luna for the long term. But I think it is a very good move for traders to do. They've made a few hundred percent on this if they enter that at that point in time and on the way up even more. So relatively good from a trading perspective when it comes to crypto. Now, what's another factor we can bring in? Well, the relative strength index is always a good one because that gives us a gauge of exactly what's going on. We've been overbought for a while now, but things are starting to slow. We're sitting literally on the cusp of being overbought at roughly, hmm, here we go, what's it saying? Today we're sitting at 70.16, so we're slightly over the RSI point where it shows we are now overbought. I'm expecting once again, we're going to see some consolidation. This is another factor which indicated exactly that. We're seeing the volume starting to reduce a bit. What we're seeing is obviously the moving averages starting to catch up. We're seeing the price not moving so sharply upwards. 
We're seeing not too much from a strong support perspective due to the lack of action and the MACD as well is really at an indecision point and I think it needs to move downwards for a brief period of time. So what is my price target for today's video based on that? Well, due to the fact that everything looks like it needs to cool off, my price target would be, I suspect we're gonna see potentially $37.80 hopefully it doesn't get to that point but within this band right here within this trading range that i've just circled now if it manages to maintain itself above that above this point of support here fantastic that's great but my target would be to see it cool off a bit wait for things to you know start to pick up back again from the rest of the crypto space and then it will have a very solid base in order to make a good move. So this 20 day moving average, in my opinion, is going to be crucial as this one does certainly move up. I really think that the 20 day moving average will be that key point. And if we're thinking that it's going to, you know, start to plateau out based on what's occurred here, horizontal trading, then I think what we are looking at is roughly $40 or so for the target. So yes, the target is actually a downwards target, but we want to see it cool off a bit to make a solid base for our next run. And our next run could be anywhere. There's no real price we can put on this now from a charting perspective because it is in fact blue sky territory now. So I'd suggest one of the key points for us in the future is, you know, go in increments. So crack back through $50, go then for $60, $70, that sort of thing. These are the increments we want to be looking for now, but we are in blue sky territory. That wraps up the technical analysis for today, guys. I'd love to know your thoughts on today's analysis and Luna in general down in the comments section below. If you did enjoy today's video, of course, remember to leave a like. And if you wanna see more of this sort of content, hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. We cover crypto, stocks, wealth management, and investing in general. But I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.